Okay, so there seems to be some confusion in calculating the offset um, in the data to a certain value. What we want to see is where in the whole frame is the, does some piece of data lie. That's what Wireshark uses. So uh, remember Wireshark has the three sections, the overview, the details, and the data. So the raw data is down here, or, or the, uh, the packet bytes section. Right? The details section takes the information from the packet bytes and interprets it in some meaningful way. So if I expand down here um, and I look down here, the, the SSID for, for, this, um, particular fr uh, this particular frame is advertising an SSID uh, for a wireless network and it's 30 Monroe Street. And if I click there and select it, you can see, I can't move my mouse over it because if I move my mouse down there, I think I'll lose that. Uh, well, it's kind of the same thing, but you can see how 30 Monroe Street is highlighted because I have it selected up here. So what we want to do is what is the offset from the beginning of the frame to that three, right? And we can do this a couple of different ways. Um, actually, wait, before we do that, let's remember what are the three sections of the packet bytes pane, right? Over here, we have the offset, the offset from the beginning of the frame so this is offset zero this is one zero two zero now remember these are hexadecimal so this is zero this is really 16 this is 32 this is 48 and on down keep that in mind as we go through the rest of this the center section is each byte interpreted as hexadecimal and then this is each byte interpreted as ascii now, everywhere you have a period, that means that is a byte that has no ASCII equivalent. So you can see there's no ASCII character for zero, uh, but the ASCII character for capital X is 58. We're looking down here for th 30, the three and 30, and that is hexadecimal value 33. And then the ASCII character zero is hexadecimal value three zero, which makes sense. So what we wanna know is how many bytes until we get to this three here. So the easiest way is by counting. So this is the one we're interested in, three, 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 right there. Uh, I'll mark that off. So what we wanna do is we wanna count. One, two, excuse me. We always start counting at zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then this is 16, which makes sense because in hexadecimal, one zero is 16 in decimal. 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Th All right, I missed one because this is 31. And this is 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and then 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So this is the 62nd byte, right? Or you skip over 61 bytes to get to this byte. Uh, I could have also calculated that by uh, using the ASCII offset here. So this is 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 3, A, 3, B, 3, C, 3, D, 3, E, and then 3, F. And if I was to throw that into, actually, no, it's 3E. I did it wrong. But <clears throat> we'll put that in there, convert, and we get 6, eh, maybe it's 3F. I got my numbers all mixed up. 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 in hex 
is e, excuse me, 14 in decimal is e in hex. So it is 3e. There we go. And I get 62. So that is the correct offset for this one. Hopefully that clears things up. If you have any questions, let me know.